two friends that were here that were injured that really were off to the side here because they weren't in any danger. Uh, they got to watch all that and think of what they have to live with now. what we call a mock crash and this is going to be as real as you're going to see and then at the end we'll answer your questions we'll have some of the first responders talk but we need everybody just to stay quiet listen watch for the first next half hour we're going to do a lot of different things here you're going to hear it live um, through our dispatch center through the microphones here we're going to try to let you listen in on exactly what's going on behind this activity is to uh, simulate driving a car 
texting, bouncing a balloon, and being distracted by your friends in the meantime. And then trying to keep your hands and eyes focused on driving the car. Another rollover accident because the driver bailed out. I'm Molly Peters Student. I'm the school counselor at Prairie Farm Schools. And I'm here today. I have all our sophomores and juniors here for the 2014 Youth Forum. It's a little different format this year because usually it's been drugs and alcohol, and this year it's distracted and impaired driving. We're super lucky that Barron Schools is hosting this for us and that Logan has taken so much time in getting things ready. National speakers, Wisconsin DOT, AT&T, and then all kinds of local businesses here. I guess our students maybe really didn't know what to expect. They knew what the focus of the day was, but really didn't know what the events would be. And so they had the national speaker and seemed truly really excited. We stayed and, and talked to Al Gabi from the Turtle Lake Police Force, and he gave them some information. And now they are out at all the interactive activities. They're doing drunk goggles, they're doing the motorcycle simulator, the driving simulator, um, the buckle up activity, trying to have the shortest time. And really I think they're just um, picking up all kinds of information that will hopefully change their own habits for driving and for texting while driving and being distracted, seeing what it does to your insurance. They're really looking forward to the mock crash this afternoon to see what that's all about and people have put in a lot of time and effort and if we can just get our kids to start thinking about their habits and maybe influence the adults in their life, today will be worthwhile. Pin the badge on the sheriff. Pin the badge. So you'll wait. What you're supposed to do for me, first of all, I spin you three times. Oh, no. <laughs> three times. Three times. Okay, now try to pin it on him where it's supposed to go. Oh, that's messed up. Can you put it on there? There? Oh, pretty good. Your first shot wasn't the best. Okay. Doing <laughs> something else. Not out of ten times, they're doing something with their phone. It's not just texting, they're looking down to see what's Hi, my name is Logan Melgosa. I'm a junior here at Barron High School, and today we are hosting the 2014 Barron County Youth Taking Action uh, Safe Driving Summit. We have over 500 uh, Barron County youth here today um, to hear the message about distracted driving, texting while driving. We have a variety I'm of um, exhibits and we're trying to, to maneuver it. I don't know what you're supposed to do, though. You're supposed to weave inside and out. But do you have your, are you throwing the ball up? Or are you going to try to text? So you're supposed to be doing a text and then driving. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Brandy. I'll start up here. 
Oh, now he's gonna start different. <laughs> He's supposed to be texting and I'm trying to drive this bike in and out of these cones. He just ran one over. <laughs> nice job, Dakota. Okay. That's all you. To buckle and get out fastest. So you can get out of the accident yep. fastest. Before the car catches on fire. Yeah. Before the cops get there? No. Yep. Well, no. <laughs> Images of people that were... Uh... Like this, 59% of girls dance in the car. You know, again, a distraction. All distracted driving yeah. things, and what Don't it can relate to. Don't drive tired. 50% of girls eat while driving. And 71% seven, or 70%. 7% yeah, admit so to drinking. From Mary High School, most of our freshmen are here today taking advantage of this event. It's about 80 to 90 kids. Our sophomores took a test this morning and then had the choice of either doing this event or going to Action City. We had over 50% of the class of sophomores who chose to come to this event instead, which is pretty cool. But the other cool thing is our juniors and seniors are in class today. We have a handful of seniors who are helping with the events, but a lot of our juniors and seniors are tweeting in that they want to be part of this, and actually some are even asking their teachers to come and skip class so they can take part and look at the different activities that are going on. At 12.30, all the Barron High School students will go out to the mock, mock crash on the football field. Today's event about distracted driving is a simulated event for over 500 kids across Barron County. What we're asking these kids to do is take it back to their schools and make a difference in their school. Um, we've done this with alcohol over the past five years. We haven't had a youth-related alcohol tragedy in almost six years in Barron County. The first year I became sheriff, we had an alcohol tragedy in the Turtle Lake area where a girl killed her friend after she was drinking and driving. And instead of us going and saying, don't do this, we went to the kids and said, we need your help. So we're doing the same thing now with distracted driving because we can see that becoming an issue uh, across the county. And so we want kids to take this back, take the message, be the messengers for us, and be the ones that make the difference. Uh, law enforcement can do a lot of things, but it, in this instance, it's going to take the kids stopping it and other kids telling them, hey, let's not text and drive until we get into the parking lot. It's, we can wait 10 minutes to say, okay, we're almost there, but we're only a minute away. Different things like that is what we want kids to do. They're going to take away a jump drive from this, go back to their own school, and put on a, uh, miniature events like we're having today. And so it's a great thing and a good thing for us to do. Hi, my name is Logan Malgosa. I'm a junior here at Barron High School.